Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are still building with our application Arc Reminders. This is part of that series and where today we are going to learn how to use bootstrap cards in our application. So far we have built a navigation system, the container, the footer. If you haven't checked out our previous episodes, please do so, so you can follow along the application. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please uh, help me by subscribing and liking my video. That will be an encouragement for me. These tutorials are good for both beginners as well as for experienced folks. If you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. All right, so Bootstrap provides various classes and a card is nothing but a section that you can group together, a piece of information or data that you can group together in your application. Now, Bootstrap provides various classes like card, card body, card can have an image, can have title, can have subtitle, text, link, etc. So we will learn how to use all of that in, in our application, which is a real time project we are doing. I hope you will like it. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's get started with real time project. So we are building our uh, application and last time we were at navbar, we had learned how to put pick stop, but I don't want that now. So I'm reverting that change. And here we are. So we have our application. I'm going to revert the minimum height that we had put. All right, we are all set to start. So now we are going to use how to use bootstrap cards. So let's first get the immediate basic card skeleton and then start building on top of it. So this is our basic uh, yeah, card that we can use it in bootstrap. So just copy it along and then go to our application and inside the content, inside the main content, I'm going to use that here. I'm going to remove the image for now, card image. We'll see that in just a bit, but for now, let's see this. So we have our card, which is uh, mentioned right here, and we will now make it 100% because we don't want it to be any width. We want it 100%. So remove that width so there we are we have our default card that comes up uh, which has the border it has the card title and some quick links on it right so beautiful so far now let's start building it we can just say padding from top should be two and padding bottom should be two all right now that being said, now the next step we are going to do is connect this data to something useful, right? So we can say reminder uh, this week we'll create two cards. We'll call it one as this week card. We'll create one more card and we'll call it next week. So this will tell us about the reminders or a to-do list that we have in our this week, next week, and this month. So we have three cards. Now you can see that here. Now I'm going to just remove the extra footer we have. And okay. All right. So that now that we have this three, I'm going to give some padding. Give padding for each of the cards. Padding bottom two. Padding bottom two. And padding bottom two. All right, so not padding. Actually, we had to give margin because we want it away. All right, so you see the gap there. So this is good. So we'll build three cards, three sections. We'll say it as this week, next week, and this month. So those are the three cards that we want to use. Now here we can use this section 
to display the data that we want right we'll populate that in just a bit but just remember card card title card body and then you can have some links that we want to display right inside the card we can have any kind of data so i'm going to delete this right and we will show you how to add list group in the next video right so we are going to add it up and make it much better with some useful thing stay tuned for that in the next episode i'm going to show you how to use bootstrap list and list group thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode